UFC Fight Night 65. Heavyweights on top, running the show, Stipe versus Mark Hunt. We begin with a match with Jake Matthews versus James Vick. Lightweight bout. Uh, Jake is 9-0 and and Vick is 7-0. and Jake, uh, the hometown favorite. And he's cute. Look at him. He's like Justin Bieber. And Vic is kind of homely, but he has some long arms. Let's see how this pans out. The hometown crowd was definitely behind Jake. I, this is my new word. This is sexyism. The crowd was all behind Jake because he was so sexy. A sexyism. Vic was kind of homely and they did not support him. Jay came out immediately puts him up against the fence and he was looking damn good Vic was looking confused and kind of wary and I must get this is a uh, takedown right here but I must give Jake points for his fucking shorts because they were plaid but I have to take away points because they weren't boxers. They were boxer briefs. If they were boxers, he would look like my old man going to the fucking fridge for a beer. Jake gets a takedown early. And of course, it's not the UFC without a fucking eye poke. Gets the eye poke. And Jake, before this, Jake, I mean, he was just, he was tuning up fucking he was tuning up his fucking opponent and it was no fucking contest and after the fucking eye poke it was a whole different ball game Jake came out immediately got tuned up into a fucking guillotine a standing guillotine that went into a ground guillotine locked up totally and out of there what the fuck fuck sexyism doesn't win it doesn't win you the fucking match and jake's out cold james vick for the fucking win he's now eight and oh then we have anthony paras versus sean o'connell uh anthony paras is 42 fucking years old he should be at home with his kids watching cable and teaching them how to read sean o'connell is a three-time loser he barely kept his position in the UFC with a fight of the night win I mean pure heart fucking came back so he's like on that fucking edge of being cut from the UFC we come in and Sean <laughs> Sean just comes out and just starts swinging and Fucking soccer dad can't fucking handle it. I mean, it's, he, he he does nothing. He's up against the fence. And Sean's just blasting him with these looping hooks over and over and over. There's nothing he can do. The guy is screaming. He's like, I'm a fucking dad. Come on. You have no fucking respect. But no, he doesn't. And the fucking ref stops, steps in and stops the goddamn fight, which he should have. Uh... There were complaints that it was early. No, it was not. He was just there was no fucking defense at all. He was just taking those hooks like a champ. And there we have our winner. He's still on the fucking fence, still in the fucking UFC. Uh I don't see him going too far, but this guy has some heart and some nice hooks. Brad Tavares, Robert Whitaker. Uh Tavares is ranked Whitaker's not uh, Tavares is definitely an up and comer and everybody is expecting big things from him Whitaker of course you're expecting big things from him also but nobody expected this <sighs> two fucking left hooks and it's the fight is over Four minutes and 18 seconds of the fucking first, and this fight is done. There's nothing. The ref jumps in, saved this guy, 
it was over a monster Whitaker is a fucking monster for the win and oh boy now we have Stipo Stipe versus Mark Hunt Mark Hunt a fucking monster a excellent kickboxer when he's on his game Stipe is a good guy he's pretty he pretty but he's not I don't see him being in the top five. Mark Hunt, all heart, uh, crowd favorite because he will brawl with your ass and he has a chin that's remarkable. This shit was horrible. This fight was, I won't say it was a travesty. It's nothing like the beatings you see in boxing sometimes, but it was close. Uh, Stipe took him to the ground early. Mark Hunt had no defense for him. Mark Hunt was looking really out of shape to me. Now, I'm a big guy too, and Mark Hunt's a big guy. He can carry that fucking weight, and you won't notice it. I'm like 330 and 6'2", but you couldn't tell. You'll never know it. He was out of shape for this fucking fight, and you could tell his win was not there. Uh, Stipe took him to the ground. Stipe was fucking fit. His chin was on point because he got blasted a couple of times. But he he had the perfect game plan for Mark Hunt. Take him to the ground. Put him down. Do not engage in a brawl. He outboxed him when they were on the feet. And then immediately went for the takedown. And after... Shit, the second round, Mark had nothing for him. He had no win. He was gassed out. And he just took a fucking beating. Fight should have been stopped in the third at least three to four times. But this is my opinion. I, I, I don't know if it's popular. I don't know if anybody else has thought about this. But all the fights before this were really quick really quick knockouts they needed some fucking time on this goddamn network and i think fucking mark hunt paid for it this ref should have his license revoked because mark hunt took a fucking beating for no reason i mean it was so many times that he was just his response they say you have to fucking respond to punches and things his response was to put a hand up and just get punched in his fucking face over and over and over. Look at his fucking face. That man is beaten. Here, this is the third. We go into the fourth, which we, should, which we shouldn't do. And more of the same on the ground, getting pounded. The ref came in because Mark's... No, I'm sorry. The doctor came in because Mark's eye was half fucking shut. And he, he still put him right back out there to fucking fight, which shouldn't have happened. This man should not be going back out into a fucking fifth round. And there we go. More of the fucking same, the beating. And eventually, this fucking sorry ass ref steps in with two minutes left to go on a five, five round fucking beating to save Mark Hunt. And Stipe wins. Uh, all in all, I say it was it was a good UFC. I mean, the the early knockouts came, and I'm like my like I said, my opinion. Fucking Mark Hunt paid for that shit because that fucking fight should not have gone five rounds. What do you think? That's my opinion. Peace. Peace.